I don't believe in killing bandits. They are innocent until proven guilty, Defense Minister Ma Bashir Magashi, Minister of Defense, has said he does not support the idea of killing bandits. Magashi was quoted as saying in a Twitter post on Thursday by Loretta Onoche, aide to President Buhari on social media. Okay. According to Onoche, the defense minister stated that bandits are innocent until proven guilty. He, however, said armed bandits will be eliminated. In his words, I don't share the idea of killing bandits. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But if we see a bandit armed with a dangerous weapon or with dangerous weapons, his surroundings will be cleared along with him. We cannot just watch them kill us without responding, he was quoted saying. Okay. Magashi's position opposes the recent resolution of the 36 state governors who unanimously agreed that all bandits in the forest should be eliminated. Okay. The minister, the minister had in February told Nigerians not to be cowards but stand up to armed bandits. He also recently told troops fighting insurgency to be courageous saying they would not die by bullets if it is not their time yeah but like whatever you believe we still have free choice and, and our choice can either shorten that time or make that time longer or faster or to even creep up on us so yeah whatever happens i don't think this magashi can say such obviously you know he's backtracking because if the governors have said that this is what they wanted to do, I mean, when the governors decide, okay, we want to eliminate the bandits, what, what were they thinking, okay? Because, again, there's always news or there's always this strong you know, rumor that the people who are doing this, the Fulanis, are not even from Nigeria in the first place. And this is all revenge. So it's not like, what is the point in, in terms of getting new enemies where you can just sort out what you already have rather than making it worse for yourself? That honestly, that's just it. There's nothing else that's complicated about that. Yeah, but one would still question why Loretta Ono Chair would go on Twitter, especially as she's the um presidential aide on social media, actually. So I don't understand why she's speaking on behalf of Honorable Min um General Bagashi because he's a minister of defense. She Obviously, on her Twitter, in her exact words, she says, I don't share the to the idea of killing bandits. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But if we see bandits armed with dangerous weapons, his surroundings will be cleared along with him. We cannot just watch them kill us without responding. Um, yes, that was, that was on the 22nd. So the fact is, okay, but why should your response be death back? Because again, I, I understand, okay, fine, we are to an extent very lawless, yes. But this is, the, the bandits were rumors saying that they're not nationals of Nigeria. So it's like, why, why, why aren't there any other ways to do it? Why do you have to eliminate <laughs> eliminate the problem? I know, yes, that seems like a very easy straight go for to answer, but things are more complicated like than that. And it's like, it's the confidence for you to think that you want to go and kill all of them eliminate them because that's that's basically what he's alluding to um if they're you know if they have weapons um obviously if someone's resisting arrest or things just happen that especially with the environment let's say there's a duel and you know the bandits and police are shooting at each other and one strip bullet hits somebody that's a whole different thing but it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit stressful to have just yeah, it's it's a lot. Um so he also encouraged um he recently told troops fighting insurgencies to be courageous, saying they will not die by bullets if it's not their time. Again, very misleading. You don't even give proper incentives like good money, so good salary salaries as base, um, good insurance, nothing else. And then you're just saying, oh, you wouldn't die when it's not your time. What do you mean by that? Carelessness, lack of leadership can also make their time early, you know? So it's like, okay, fine, you might say all these things, but what's, what are you advising him to do? Or he, the soldier. 
So Jim, anyway, what's all your advice on them? That they should be careless? Because again, careless when it comes to leadership, especially as you know, these people always emphasize as to how it's all about obedience and all that. Yes, this point, if if like a a sergeant, a general makes makes a mistake, then everyone's life is is, is at risk. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. Um, but again, Minister of Defense, I don't really think, you know, I mean, yes, saying, saying that innocence or proven guilty is much more diplomatic than saying that, okay, fine, if they're armed, I mean, yes, okay, fine, if they're armed, the probability of, you know, you dying is probably higher because they're armed and you have to protect yourself, fine. Um, but just a bit, you're a defense minister, isn't there any plan? You know, like, isn't there, like, if your plan is just to not do anything, but kill when necessary, because it seems like that's the order, kill when, when necessary, then I guess, I guess it's a, it's a bit shame for a defense minister. Um, There's nothing calming about what he said. There's nothing we are showing Nigerians that, you know what, you guys are going to be fine. It's more like, <laughs> very, very strange. Um, and also, I don't know, understand why Loretta Onoche is tweeting it. Um, I don't know how she is related. Um, if, except it's her job to tweet or speak on behalf of um of the defense minister. But I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, so yeah, especially as she, as I said before, she is the presidential aide on social media. So yeah, um. Magash Sporison opposes the recent resolution of the 36 state governors who unanimously agreed that all bandits in the forest should be eliminated. What was the logic behind that? What if they're not Nigerians? Or what if what if you kill Nigerians in the forest? You're just going to assume? I mean, like, okay, fine. I understand okay, the likelihood of you know, Nigerians in the forest, okay, fine, might be low because what are they doing there? They're not necessarily planning anything evil. Um... Okay, fine. You can say poverty, but you can be poor outside of the forest. It's not a. It's not a thing. Um, but it's a bit. It's yeah. I don't. How would governors? I. I don't even know when they even had a deliberation where unanimously all thirty six governors were like, yes, we need to eliminate bandits. Like I don't know. There are different ways um to do certain things, and of course, being governors doesn't speak well. Poor thing about the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.